Here we go, electronics. And uh, this one is going to be interesting, I think. Okay, so when I purchased this, it was a Amazon liquidation pallet. And when I went to pick it up at my local liquidator, it was one box. One box is all it was. It did come out on a wooden pallet still, but it was just one box for this liquidation. So the value of this one box is $1,799. That's a lot of value for this box, for one box. What I paid was $199. So I paid maybe like what, 11, 12% of MSRP. Pretty much what I like paying. I like, I like keeping around 10%. I think I paid like 11 or 12 percent, so it's still it's it, it's in that range. There's supposed to be 61 items with a flex of a five percent in this box. So flex of five percent, so there's going to be probably between let's just say 55 to 65 items in this box. So since this box is only the size of it is 20 by 18 by 14, there's going to be several things in here that's going to be some smaller items to fit in this one box. This is not the first time that I went to pick up a pallet and it was just a box. So hopefully this pays off well. Fingers crossed. Here we go. You ready? $1,800 mystery box. That's a lot. That's the value of this box. Let me just do this blind. I'm not going to peek in or nothing. I'm not peeking in nothing. I usually like look in to see what I'm pulling out. This time, since it's one freaking box and that's it, we're doing this whole palette blind. I mean, I'm not going to look in the box, you know what I'm saying? Let me actually, let me scoot this away from me just a little bit more so I can't really see it as easily. Okay, here we go. First item. We have a broken CD case. Oh, the CD's even, CD's even, yes. <laughs> Somebody's chewed on the CD. First item is trash. Let's try again. Okay, I hear, I feel on top, I feel a record. Oh, cool. I actually don't have this one. I'm keeping this. We've got ACDC back in black. So no matter what, this is going to be a score just because I actually, I need this record and I actually wanted this record. It's, it's, it's used. It's got a few little uh, handling marks, a few small scratches. It should still play okay. You know, like I'll clean the record up. But yeah, yeah, this is, this is not for sale. So I'm sure somebody's going to ask to buy this record. But yeah, I, if I had a double of them, then yes, I would sell it. But this is the only one that I have now of Back in Black, ACDC. I gotta keep that. Gotta keep that. Let's see, go back in. I feel another vinyl record right on top. Who we got? No way, we got Primus. Rhinoplast. This is, I think, one of our new ones, right? No, it's not. 98. Uh, oh, this is the Too Many Puppies one. Or is this kind of like a Greatest Hits? I'm, uh, hold on. Thinking about this. Rhinoplasty. This has a Too Many Puppies, which is actually a fantastic song that they did. This might be kind of like a uh, greatest hits record because on the back it says 98 and 2018. Oh, I wish I'm drawing a blank. I'm, I'm actually a Primus fan, not like die hard. Uh, I saw them in concert one time. Two times, well, I saw him back the 1998 Family Values Tour with uh, Corn, Limp Biscuit, Primus, Ice Cube, 
Yeah, I saw them over 20 years ago. But yeah, uh, more likely I'll probably be keeping Primus also. <laughs> so first item, trash. Last two, I'll be keeping probably both those. I don't feel any more records on top. What's this? Radiant Iris complete. I don't feel a record in here. If there's a record, this is the thinnest record I've. This is the double LP. There's no record in it. It's missing the records. So whoever returned it, they kept the records and just returned the cover for it. Okay. Next. Morrissey. Billy Joe with Billy Joe Armstrong, who is the lead singer of uh, Green Day. Isn't Morrissey like his other band that he's in? I think, oh, cool. Colored vinyl. Listen to that. Isn't it, though? Isn't Morrissey? I don't know. I'm just making stuff up now, I think. Okay, so we have another record. Oh, don't fall out record. Don't peek either. Don't cheat. Radiohead, a moon-shaped pool. Not a Radiohead fan. Never been a fan of their music. Just not, not just, just not my flavor. You know what I'm saying? It is used. Actually, ooh, that thing. Oh, that's got some deep gashes in, in that record. Can you see it right here? That thing's going to skip really bad. So side D is not going to play correctly. It's going to skip every single time the needle hits those two. It's two actually pretty good gashes in that record. And yeah, that record's not going to play right, so that stinks. So far, let me check out this other first one. That one's good. So I can still sell this, just uh, three out of four sides will play. This is more going to be kind of a local sale, you know, like five bucks on that. You know, about five bucks. Composition book. Brand new. It is kind of crunch though, but it's still usable. And a lot of people use these composition books just, just to draw in. So it's still very drawable, but I mean, it's only gonna be a few bucks because it's kind of damaged a little bit. Oh, cool. Spider-Man PlayStation 4. It actually is the correct disc. It is Spider-Man. Digital code. If there is one, you can't see it as far as I know. I can't tell, but yeah. Spider-Man, okay. Used is probably like, what, 30 bucks maybe in that range. Maybe as high as 40, 30, something like that. Oh, wireless charger pad for Samsung. That's actually a nice item. It's actually a really, really good charger. I've used that this actual charger before in the past for my own products, and that actually is a really good charger. Works really well. That's probably good. Honestly, 30, 40 bucks right there. Let's see, we have it. Oh, cool, we got the Beatles, a revolver. That's a good album right there. Somebody taped it shut. Just trying to look around for the CDs in it. Yeah, the CDs there. So Beatles Revolver, good, you know, like about five bucks on that. Then we've got, oh, that looks a cool game. Another PlayStation 4 game. So we're getting out some PlayStation 4 stuff. That's always, it's always fun. Games, it, is it, oh, it's good. Game's there. Code's right there. I do not want to show the code just in case. Shadowbringers Final Fan, oh, it's Final Fantasy. Okay, Final Fantasy 14. Cool. Maybe like 30, 40 bucks on that. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, that's that's batteries there. Yep, brand new thing of batteries. Size is, was it 1.5 volt CLR, C-LR14, 1.5 volt. That's a 
strange size. What we got? Color pencils. Some of these color pencils can go for a decent money. That's probably, honestly, it's probably 15 bucks in color pencils right there. What's this? <laughs> you ready for this one? Here's a good one. Best of the whole palette. We've got more batteries. Okay. Another CD, Sabaddon, The Great War. His, oh, I know this band. This band's actually really awesome. I actually recently like discovered them on um, Apple Music. I was playing just like the, just like my metal playlist whenever I work out, and this band came on, and they were actually really good. And, I, and I've actually listened to this CD probably honestly like two dozen times now. It's actually a fantastic CD. It's a good album, actually. That's cool to actually get one out to actually see it. So, so far, this has been an interesting $1,800 mystery box. PS4 game, we got another one. We got another one. Okay, the outside of the case is Okami HD. I opened it up, though, and what was in it is PlayStation 2 Gran Turismo 3. So somebody returned an old PS2 game and kept the PlayStation 4 game. How awesome is that? Madonna CD. Madonna Madam X CD. Blank case. We've got PlayStation 2 at King's Field, The Ancient City. That's like the fourth PlayStation game. Two PS2s and two PS4s. Oh, we got Xbox One. We got the brand new Madden 20. That's a much newer game, too. There's the disc. Disc is good. Cool. Freaking Madden 20. Take that. That's probably good. 30, 40 bucks, depending on how old it is. We got Kate Beckinsale Underworld Ultimate Collection includes all five films on Blu-ray. How cool is that? Oh, they're, they're like double stacked discs in here. Underworld Evolution, Underworld Extended Unrated Director's Cuts, Awakening. Okay, cool. All five films. That's probably good, like what, 20 bucks right there, I bet. Next, Hack Job, unrated, from Guar. Some kind of low budget DVD featuring Guar. It's in there. You know, probably just a few bucks on that, maybe. Then we've got Andy Garcia, Swing Vote, DVD. A few bucks on that. Leonard Cohen, Live in London. DVD. There it is. You know, a few bucks on that. Okay, that's kind of stuck in there. Oh, PS4 game. Shadow of the Colossus. And what's inside of it is an old PS2 game. So, Jack 2, PlayStation 2. So, somebody was buying PlayStation 4 games off Amazon keeping the game and returning their old PlayStation 2 games in it. I got two in this stack so far. So somebody's pulling a little uh, little scam here on, on Amazon. That thing's kind of buried. I can't get it out yet. Mega Gear. What is Mega Gear? Oh, it's for a camera. It's just a camera case. Like a fancy camera case. I know they still made like camera cases like this. This is like such a retro vibe of a case right there. This is the kind of stuff that my parents used like back in the 80s with their cameras. I guess it's probably come back in style. It actually has that vintage look to it too. 
It's made for a MG407, whatever camera that, that is. There's a case for it. Okay, what's this? It's a big box. Ah, telephone. AT&T three handset phone. It's actually probably a good 25 bucks though. Kind of decent. Okay, what is this? We, oh, that thing is, oh, we got a iPhone case. Sells for about five bucks. Then we have 500 double window security envelopes. 500 of them. One of them's damaged, but this box new sells for like 30 bucks. Kind of banged up like this, like half the price. Skin's in there. It's for a 2011, 2012, 11 inch MacBook Pro. Like a red skin for it. Yeah, that's kind of worthless, honestly. What's this? Somebody wrote four pins in Sharpie on the front of this box. Intermatic air conditioner and appliance timer. If it works, about 10 bucks on that. Oh, that sounds broken. It doesn't sound healthy. There's some glass in the box. There's like broken glass in the box and this shouldn't have glass in it. Oh, I, I know what it is. That face right here. That face has a glass cover on it. The glass cover's broken. That stinks. I have to be careful with that. Clean that thing out carefully. We've got USB charging cable. Plier type stapler. Bulbs for a pole lamp, or a pole lamp accessory. Android TV box. What does this look like? Oh, it's brand new. 4K video. The brand is A5X Plus Mini Ultra HD 4K. This is probably about 20 bucks or so. It is brand new still. Okay, where's my big ticket stuff? The fine technology? It's actually still factory sealed. USB microphone, fine, fine YouTube video. So it looks like this must be some kind of a small USB microphone. I don't want to open it up because it's still the original factory seal on it. It has never been opened up. But I'd look the thing up later and research that a little bit. See, maybe that's expensive or something. Oh, cool. We got a 3M half face piece medium. Kind of like a, what's the thing called? Those masks you wear for like chemical environments. It's like a new mask. Probably good 20 bucks on that. We have a folding utility knife. It's brand new. Packaging came loose on a little bit, but it's 100% brand new though. I actually might keep this. It looks like a really nice knife. I might have to keep that. Let's see. iPhone cord. Perco spare cap. You need a spare cap? I got a spare cap. Lavalier microphone. Rock a the mic. 20 bucks on that for a microphone. You can put it into your phone, camera, something like that. A skin for an Alexa remote. I sell things for about five bucks. CD mount, smartphone car mount for a CD. I don't even have a CD slot in my truck. Like it doesn't even come with, with a CD player. A lot of people now don't come with CD players, so something like that you couldn't even use it if you even if you wanted to. So we have a uh, like a mini or a iPad mini case. Get ten bucks on that. 
Well, let's see, iPhone 7, we got a case for like a pink case. Then we got iPhone 6 Plus, 7 Plus, 8 Plus, spec, hard case for it. All these cases, like I said, some for like, this kind of case, like 10 bucks on, on that case. A little bit more, because it, it's a good brand. Okay, we got long iPhone cord. Oh, we have some Bluetooth speakers. Brand is called Langsdom. I have to research those. Comes in a carrying case. They are used. That means there's going to be earwax on them. I have a bad earwax phobia. Here, here we have some kind of like a broken letter, plastic letters. It's trash. This box, I think, is almost done. I'm kind of feeling the bottom of the box. Have not peeked one time in it yet. Here's the Nintendo Switch game. Oh, let me show us first. We have a padlock that has been locked. Uh, if it's locked without the combination, then it's pretty much a brick. But here we got Wolfenstein, Young Blood for the Nintendo Switch. Is it in there? Oh, come on, man. So somebody returned this and they kept the game and returned an empty case. So out of this, two PlayStation 4 cases had old PS2 games switched in them. Here's the Nintendo Switch returned without the game. So there, right there's three video games that uh, kind of had a little bit of a customer return scam to them. A little bait and switch. Okay, we've got Sylvania Smart Plug. It's actually a good 15, 20 bucks right there for the smart plug. Those actually sell pretty decent, you know what I'm saying? Those actually aren't that bad. What's this? Portable and cordless handy stitch, the handheld sewing machine. As seen on TV. If it's another one of those junky things. As this says, as seen on TV, more likely this thing is gonna be uh, kind of junky. It's not going to be the best quality item because if you buy, if you buy or if you liquidate, deal with liquidations of as seen on TV stuff. All that stuff just it doesn't work. It doesn't work. A lot of those companies are kind of like fly by night kind of companies. Somebody who has an idea, they find an investor that they kind of sucker into investing in their business, and then they kind of just mass produce junk, sell it, and then. Stop selling it once people realize it's junk. It happens. We have two boxes of iPhone cords. I think that actually might be it. Nope. There's one thing there. One thing there. Filling around. One thing there. I think there's three things left. We got a mystery box. A white box. What are you? Have kind of like a, a switch for something. I don't know what for. One of those mystery items. I'll take a little bit of research on my part to figure out what this is, how much it sells for. Let's see. One thing, two things. Ah, iPhone cord. This might be the last thing right here. Let me peek. Let me peek. Let me peek. Oh no, there's two things left. I saw a PS4 game. Let's save that for last. Here we have a lightning car charger. I would hate to end on a freaking lightning car charger. Thank goodness. Okay, so while well, I peeked and I saw that last item. Oh, nope, there's still one more thing. Very, very, very small. We got a guided meditation to ease grief, a CD. Looks like it has been opened up. They just retaped it. CD's in there, so a meditation CD. I think this is the last item. Let me look underneath these to the flaps on the bottom to make sure. Yep, that's it. This is the last thing, right, right here. Empty, this is it. Last item, we have The Walking Dead, the final season, the Telltale series on PlayStation 4. I've actually have never played The Walking Dead like this. Uh, this looks like a counterfeit cover. Yeah, the cover for this is just a print off copy from somebody's com somebody's uh, computer printer. It's very pixelated and it's like cut wrong. 
This is probably going to be a bootleg PS4 game. Should we just go ahead and just look? The cover, of course, it's just a blue case. The cover, though, is not the original cover. Um. Wow. So, this is a Memorex, like a CDR, that they botched. They printed off a label for it to attach. This is actually, this isn't... So, yeah, this is a counterfeit disc that doesn't even have a game on it. This is just like a clear a clear disc that has not even been written on yet and they printed off a label from the internet and tried to attach it they printed off a replacement no just they printed off a secondary cover and this thing is very it's pixelated the colors are off on it so somebody bought an authentic walking dead game like this if you can see this thing it's all pixelated this you know is this is just a bootleg so somebody returned a bootleg and kept the authentic disc. So man, three of these PlayStation 4 games had, two of them had PS2 games in the PS4 cases. And this one was just a straight up bootleg, a counterfeit game. So that's actually how we end this palette is on a freaking bootleg counterfeit video game. Not how I wanted to end this palette, that's for sure. So. What was my big ticket item in this? I'm having to think. What was my big ticket item for a value of $1,800? I think it might have been like maybe one of the PS4 games. That I think that was like the so the biggest ticket item. PS4 game brand new is like what 60 bucks. So the biggest ticket item would be that PS4 game for like 60 bucks. Whoa. I don't see $1,800 here. I don't see it. It's supposed to be like, what, 61 things that even, you know, 30 bucks an item. It actually would have to average out to 30 bucks an item to hit $1,800. And these 60 items here would not average out to 30 bucks a piece. So yeah, I think my liquidator was wrong on the value of this pallet mystery box. Yeah, this thing might be lucky to be worth maybe six hundred to a thousand dollars tops. Lowest six, probably high of a thousand, because there were like five PlayStation Four games in here, but of course three were customer scams. So just those five games, the new price would be like 300 bucks for those five games. So everything else, I bet you could be worth maybe like four or 500. So yeah, I mean, it's value-wise, it's probably like new. New price is probably like 800 to 1,000 dollars. So yeah, the price put on this, it was off by I think quite a bit of money. So not the best palette, not the best box. Will I recoup my 200 bucks? Yeah, I'll get it back. But it's gonna be selling a whole bunch of five dollar ten dollar items locally you know to get the most profit for them without having to pay online selling fees and shipping and packaging costs and all that jazz so I mean, this this will take some time to sell everything because it's just a lot of low ticket you know five dollar items like crazy in this one so not the best it was a letdown so it happens this is the liquidation palette flipping game firsthand you're seeing it so not every single pal is going to be a home run, knock out of the park, big money maker. Sometimes you buy a pallet and it ends up just being one box and this is what you get for your money. When it happens, it stinks because it's going to be a lot of work selling all this stuff. A lot of time, a lot of patience also sell this stuff. But the next pallet, the next five pals could be incredible value, awesome items, big ticket items. You just never know. That's the pout flipping game. This is kind of like, it's kind of like a rush, you know? It's a rush for a, an awesome pout. It's a rush to pull out the big ticket computer or video game system or camera. You know, that's that's exciting. It's, it's just a rush, you know? So, 
you know what? We'll try again next time. We'll just this is my full time job. This is what I, this is what I do for a living. So I buy upwards of like five pallets a week, a week. So there's going to be a good one. So I'll see you next time. Be on the lookout, and I'm out.